Sona, the villager's tough defender, fill you in. Take it away, Sona. I can't believe this happened on my watch. Cultists right inside Mother's heart. What happened? I went out to deal with some machines prowling outside our gates, but it was all part of the cult's plan. Just as I was giving this nasty broadhead a wedgie, I realized something didn't smell right. By the time I got back, Tirsa and the others were gone. How many people did they take? You know how hard it is to count without fingers. All I know is we have to save them. But I can't leave my post again. Don't worry. We saw the way they went. We'll get Tirsa and the others back. One more thing. My son, Varl. He ran off on a rescue mission before I could stop him. The boy's got a good heart, but he's not ready for this kind of trouble. Cultists, huh? Sounds mysterious. Hope Varl's okay. I'm missing that kid. If you stand at the right spot, you can still see the Matriarch Lodge. Shame we can't reach it. I knew we needed more- Whoa, fella. Tirsa is the soul of this town. I feel lost without her. without Tears' granny brain. My son has a good heart, but I do worry he's not ready. Where they found you. All Mother Mountain. A sacred, mysterious place. Watching. I thought it was that one over there. Huh? Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> a sacred, mysterious place. Watching over us always. Holding tight to its secrets. Like. why my mom left me there. Hmm. Well, I won't be finding out without Tirsa, so let's save those villagers! <laughs> Apologies. I can't believe cultists kidnapped all those people! They're bad news, all right. Yeah, really bad. The worst, just the worst. I, I, and I just have one question. What's a cultist? Um, let me see. How do I explain? Cultists are so convinced they're right about something, usually something pretty crazy, that you just can't reason with them. Oh, like how you're so sure gravy goes well with pancakes. <laughs> Kinda but with worse consequences than indigestion. 
Like Mother's heart getting attacked. But why would these cultists do that? Why take the villagers prisoner? I guess we're gonna find out. Come on. Boy, a mystery. Just the kind of thing to make a story interesting, according to my narrator manual. Another weird ancient thing. So mysterious. No time at all. Back to its former glory. Pick yourself up. Try again. before. Ah, uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. I'll stash this away somewhere safe. Aw, over already. You 
can't see me. That glowing spot is a great place for my arrow. <laughs> now we're cooking! world wreck. I wonder what it was for. And that's the last yeah. bathroom break you're getting! Chip, chip. Hey! We have rights, you know! Found some of the prisoners. Now to clear out the guards. I never let anyone sneak up on me. That's why Helis put me on guard duty, you know? Never thought I'd end up in a cult. Identified. I just hate coming up with my own ideas so much. Uh, like, what if I'm wrong? The other day I was lying in the sun for my usual eight hours, and I, I started feeling really hot. Honestly, I need to spend more time in the sun. <laughs> Cult branded water bottle would have been nice. There, get him.
please. Come on, please. Whoa. Let me help you. Free at last. Our savior. And it's you, isn't it? The girl who grew up outside the village. She whose mother is a mystery. Uh, sure. But you can call me Aloy. Oh, wow. An outsider. So different. So glamorous. So... In need of a good tailor. That's me. Teb the tailor. Do you cosplay? Because, oh boy, do I have costumes for you. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds exciting. I'll make you an outfit as soon as I get back to Mother's Heart. Don't forget to come see me at my shop. Look at the state of my shop. How am I supposed to keep Mother's heart at the forefront of fashion with this mess? Let me see what I can do. I'm getting pretty good at building stuff. You're the best, Aloy. Though many of its people were still missing, Aloy was pleased to see life at Mother's heart was returning to normal. With Teb the tailor back at his shop, maybe she could celebrate with a brand new outfit. Because who doesn't love dressing up, hmm? While she'd been trying on outfits, Aloy heard an interesting bit of town gossip. A gigantic creature had been seen in the wilds, 
giving the villagers even more reasons to worry. She decided to investigate at once, because, well, who wouldn't? Oh? Oh! Hello, Grounds. 